Today I'd like to talk to you about a scary example of feminism. So why is it scary? Because that's the name of the author. Here we have my son's 2017, I think is when we got it for him. Um, Richard Scarry's best word book ever. The reason I got it for him is because I was given this copy when I was two years old in 1977. So this one here is printed in America. This one here is printed in Malaysia made in Malaysia. I'm going to show you that there's quite a few differences between the old world here. This one is copyright 1963, I think. And this one here is, of course, modern. There's quite a few difference between, differences between the two. Uh, definitely an agenda in this one here. Let me show you. All right, here we have the two different books, my old one here and the new one for my son here. And let's start up at the top here. Wording is basically the same kind of a thing. Um, more than 1,400 objects illustrated in full color. Don't really see that, but let's get into some of the political correctness here. Rabbit sleeping in bed. Totally fine. But look at this. The old one, it's a boy brushing his teeth. The new one, it's been changed to a girl. How about the new one here, or the old one, excuse me. Mom is cooking on a wood cook stove. Now you have the modern one. Mom is cooking on the stove, ah, and Dad's there also helping in the kitchen. Can't have it just be a woman slaving away at an old stove there, you know. That's just unthinkable. Down here we have the mailman. The old one here, mailman. Letter carrier. Here. <laughs> okay. Here you have a, a mother cat out pushing her baby. Here you have a father cat out pushing the baby. Here you have a little boy riding his tricycle holding a balloon. Here. I'll hold it up so you can see a little bit better. Little boy riding a tricycle. See? Here over on this one, you have, now you have the, uh, do it this way. I guess I can't, I'll do it this way. There we go. Here you have, dad is the new one here. Now it's the father pushing the baby and a daughter riding a tricycle. See the old one, it's a woman pushing her baby and her son's following along. Here you have the new one here farmers farmers plural there you have a male farmer and a female like like a looking female there a scarecrow well that's just terrible you can't have that no she's just as good as her husband she's out there farming right along yeah and here you have the old one you have a fireman here you have firefighter and look at this police officer it's a female. Policeman on the old one. So you get a policeman, and here you have a police officer. Auto in the old one, car in the new. I really don't get that one, but you know, whatever. You have fire hydrant there, and none over here, I guess. You can't have that or something. There must be some racist thing there or something. It's hard on people with red hair or something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's just insane. And it goes through this thing and it just page after page after page. My nephews uh, messed it up years ago. I never did this to my books. I never wrote one of my books growing up. But my nephews weren't really raised right. And uh, they decided that they would take markers to my, and, you know, pens when my, when their grandparents weren't looking. But right up there, you can see DeBrian, uh, Troy Denlinger on his second birthday with, from daddy and mommy. So this is an old book. <laughs> I'm kind of an old man here. Of course, you have the female putting clothes on the line. That's not even in this newer edition. But here we have the new day. Let me get to it here quickly with this one. The newer Richard Scarry book. And some of the stuff just is bizarre, you know, it's just weird. But you have the new day. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit so we can see this better. It is the morning of a new day. The sun is shining. Little bear gets up out of bed. Okay? So there's no, you know, it's, it's just saying little bear. I say, you know, he dresses himself, but there's no name to him or anything. Bear sits up straight in his chair. Okay, the new one here says Kenny Bear. 
So they had to name him. I guess it was somehow offensive or something for him not to be named. Little Bear must imply persecution against little or smaller people or something, you know. <laughs> okay, but look at this. When he finishes eating breakfast, he helps wash and dry the dishes. When he finishes eating breakfast, he helps his mother to wash and dry the dishes. Why did they drop mother? He helps. He helps who? See, it's sexist to say mother. You can't have the mother there doing the things, you know. Yeah. Same. Same. And it gets worse and worse and worse. Here we have the rabbit family's house. We'll show this in a minute. Modern rabbit family's house. Just kind of a ridiculous nonsense here. This is the old book. This is one from my childhood. Mom's down in the kitchen getting breakfast ready. Father right there putting his tie on, getting ready to go to work. Bathroom. Boys' bedroom. Hmm. Can't have that now. You're going to have to change that. And it says here, Father Rabbit, Mother Rabbit, and his rabbit brother, and the rabbit brothers are getting ready for the new day. All right, their friend Al is waiting for the two brothers to come out to play. Can you find him? All right, what does this modern politically correct one say? Father Rabbit, Mother Rabbit, and the rabbit children are getting ready for the new day. Their friend Al is waiting for the children to come outside. Can you find him? And look what they do. Now it's just... Big Brother's bedroom. This goes from being Father Rabbit to now Big Brother. And over here, this isn't a brother, boy's bedroom here. Now it's Molly. This is a girl now. They've changed her to a girl. But down here in the kitchen, oh, now you have Mother and Father down there cooking. Because it would be racist and sexist and bigoted and narrow-minded, xenophobic, name the things, uh, all these little terms that they come up with, to have just the woman in there cooking. So they had to put the man in there, too. <laughs> it just cracks me up. I get the owl's still the same, though. You know, I don't, I don't know why. I guess nobody's been offended yet about the owl. So you can leave that there. You know, certainly don't want to, to do that. Can't offend owls. Yeah. Toys. Well, we'll get back to that. At the playground. Here we go. At the playground. Here we have Ring Around the Rosie. One, two, three girls in dresses. Three female cats. Oh, now we have two female cats and a boy. Had to put a boy in there. Um, here we have this cat down here in the old book. It says red bib overalls on, but they they had to put a flower on it to make it look feminine. Now over here we have bouncing ball, a little girl playing with it. The new one, it's a boy playing with it. And I love this one here. Tag in the old book. A boy is chasing a girl. Okay. The new one, it's a girl chasing a boy. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, well, you have the, the ring toss with the old book. It's, an, it's a boy. Ring toss with the new book. It's a girl. Sure, why not? I mean, somebody's feelings could seriously get hurt if you, you know, if you have a, a girl there doing that. Here's another good one. We'll do the old politically incorrect book first. Here we have tools. Everyone is very busy working with his tools. Who always carries his tool with them? He has a red head. It's all males. All males working with tools. Oh no. Oh, atrocious. How could this be? How could this happen? I mean, there, there, there has to be, we have to get some liberal senators in here to get you know, upset about this or something. I mean, this is just terrible. So let's change it to everyone is busy, very busy working with tools. Where'd the his go? What tools do you have in your house? What would you like to build? 
Now we have a girl with a drill and a girl with a hacksaw. So there's that. <laughs> but uh, you know the funny thing? Um, isn't this by making them out to, that they have to have dresses on to identify as girls? Isn't that kind of sexist? Uh, nothing like that, of course. Now you got the, the fox down here. He has polka dots, red polka dots on, you know, with his shirt. And this one here is just regular. There's no red polka dots there. I don't know if there's a little implied message there or not, but the bear's farm. Let's find the bear's farm here. Okay. Already we see a problem. We have the bear's farm. Farmer bear's farm. Oh, uh-oh implying that Farmer Bear is the man. He's out there driving his tractor out in the field. There he is. He owns the farm. Naughty, naughty. Can't have that. Okay. Wife hanging up the laundry. And they couldn't get rid of that, I guess. But, but now it's the Bear's farm. She's part owner, don't you know? The Bears are working hard on their farm. What are they all doing? What is the duck doing? What is the scare, scarecrow supposed to be doing? He is not doing it, is he? Basically the same thing here, but it says, what is Mrs. Bear doing? What are they all doing? Oops, can't have that. Mrs. Bear is hanging out the laundry. See, they still have her hanging out the laundry. They just can't mention it now. That's just a bunch of nonsense. But here we have, Kenny Bear is going to feed the chickens. Kathy Bear is going to feed the pig. It's like she's in some kind of trance here or something. <laughs> All right, and what do we have down here? There you have the Kenny Bear and Kathy Bear, the old book. Uh-oh, they're not there. Huh, interesting. So, yet another uh, example of the political correctness in this and these two books here, well, the new book, I shouldn't say these two books. This one's funny too, the airport. Okay. The man in the control tower is talking into his microphone. Okay. He is talking to the handsome pilot by radio. Handsome pilot. He is telling him that he will have a nice, that he will have nice weather on his flight. Well, I have to fix that up. That's deadly. The air traffic controller is talking to the pilot of the jet passenger plane. The controller is giving the pilot takeoff instructions. <laughs> no longer the handsome pilot. And look at this. Flight attendant. What's the old book say? Pretty stewardess. Uh oh, oh no. It's it's sexist to call a woman pretty. You know, <laughs> you can't have that. That's just awful. Pretty stewardess. I mean, come on now. Just you're damaging people by this. I mean, it's just terrible. Pretty stewardess. Oh no. Isn't that just awful? <laughs> Cracks me up. Supermarket. At the supermarket. I have to get over here quick. Where's my, here we go. Here we have the old one, 1977. Mrs. Pig is buying groceries for her family. What would you like to buy the next time you go to the market? Would you like to buy a pickle? Right there, Mrs. Pig. Can't have that. The pigs are buying groceries for their family. So now you have to throw a man in there. No man in that one, but you have to have a man there now too. He's helping out. He's doing his part, you know. So, and of course over here you have a female grocer. And in the old book, it's a male grocer. <laughs> oh man, what a bunch of nonsense. Let's see if I can get back to this one thing here.
But of course, you can't end it there. It can't just be about men and, and women. But they uh, did a real nice job on that page. Here we have boats and ships. There's a canoe, an Indian and a canoe. All right. But see, that's that's racism right there. So you have to just take away. It can't be an Indian anymore. It's a girl now paddling along in a canoe with red stars on it. Because that's that's racist right there. Right? You know, that's just terrible. Can't have that. <laughs> I mean, come on here. <laughs> just crazy. I don't know if there's anything else in that one. Well, this one here, they, they have this... Uh, flag here in the old one right there and it's called Gretel is the name of the boat but here in the new one we have it's called the white swan and the flag's gone so a lot less offensive that way and you know I know somebody would say well you see it's it's all about just getting a copyright the Malaysian one had to get, you know, they had to change it enough and whatever. Yeah, I get that. But they're changing it to a feminist agenda. Keeping healthy. Best thing to do is stay away from the doctor and the dentist. That's a way to stay healthy. Well, here we have at the doctor's office. And you have a nurse, a female nurse. Well, can't have that. And a male rhinoceros dentist. Oh, oh that's just awful, isn't it? This is the old book. Let's see how the new one changed it. Here you have up here, Doctor, Nurse. New book, Doctor. Oh, and she's not a nurse now. She's an eye doctor. Isn't that nice? Down here, now we have a female dentist instead of the male dentist. So, dental hygienist is similar. But isn't that interesting? Hmm. Have to change things, you know. Can't be offending anybody. Next, we'll go to the Bear Twins Get Dressed. Here you have Sister Bear got up out of bed. She took off her pretty, pretty nightgown and put it away neatly. Nice bear. Petticoat, panties. Put on her, you know, things there, nightgown and everything. Kathy Bear stretches hard before she gets up or she gets out of bed. She takes off her nightgown and hangs it on the book and hook in her closet. What do you think Kathy should wear today to keep warm? Puts on her underpants, undershirt. What happened to the uh, petticoat? It's an undershirt now. Okay. But now look at this. The old book says. She put her handkerchief and purse in her pocketbook. She puts her change purse and into her backpack. <laughs> That's too feminine, you see. You can put them in dresses to make them look female. And, and uh, you know, well, you have to get rid of that too. I just realized that the, it's no longer a, a pinafore. Now it's a sweater. So, yeah. Or you can't have the ribbon, I guess, there. No, that's, no, it's there. But, yeah, there you go. Too feminine to have a, a purse, pocketbook here with a handkerchief. You just have a backpack now. Yeah. Funny how that works. I kind of agree with the eyes on that one. You know, the eyes are all big and bulged out as opposed to the that one there. Sort of a funny thing. Not anything real big uh, here. A couple of changes. Mr. and Mrs. Mouse and the old one. Mr. and Mrs. Mouse. There they are. And the, the newer one right here is Mr. and Mrs. Mouse. The mouse, there's the old one. But you have down here, you have a female there. The veterinarian makes sure all the animals are healthy. There's no veterinarian in the old one. Funny how that works. We'll go through a couple more. A lot of this stuff is missing in the newer book. 
I don't think this there's not even a music playing section in this one. Um, let's see if I can find this in the city one quickly. Here we go. All right, here we have a period book publisher. There's a male editor. Here's the uh, new politically correct book publisher. It's a female editor now. <laughs> Can't have that, you know. Male editors. No, oh, no, it's just awful. Um, but the old book here says, Mouse has just bought a book at the bookstore. He is going to buy a newspaper and then join his rabbit friends at the sidewalk cafe and drink some lemonade with them. Show with your finger the way he will go. Remember to have him look both ways before he crosses a street. Fine, not a problem, right? Well, the new one says, Mouse has just bought a book at the bookstore. She is going to buy a newspaper and then join her rabbit friends at the sidewalk, blah, blah, blah. Why do they have to change it to a female? And yet the picture's the same. Isn't that kind of weird? So we'll go on to the next one. Here's another one, a drive in the country. Now look at this. Let me show you this. Here. Mountain climbers, knapsack, apple, cliff. It's the same exact picture. Okay, nothing changed there. Nothing needs to change. Except for the wording, because you have to get that little feminism thing in there. Here we have a drive in the country. There are many things to see when you take a drive in the country. Can you see what the mountain climber has dropped out of his knapsack? Okay, that's the old one. What's the new one say? There are many things to see when you take a drive in the country. Can you see Harry and Sally, the mountain climbers? Can you see what Harry has dropped from his knapsack? In other words, Harry is the one down here, and this is now a female. This is Sally up here pulling Harry up little feminism there. Just incredible. I don't think if there's anything different on the holidays thing. Yeah. Here you have holidays. A boy pig right there. Down here you have a girl pig. Interesting. Uh, oh yeah, look at this one. Down here in the new book you have the pig in the back has a ribbon. I guess implying it's a female. No ribbon. Right there. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. This one here. So in all the different things there. This one, they had to put Hanukkah in there, the menorah. Hmm. Can't be racist now, you know. Have to include everybody. Ecumenical and all that good stuff. At school. Does this one have a school? I think it has. Yeah. At school. Uh, is there anything different here? It has to be. Oh, yeah. Of course, you have the new book. You have a desk there with a girl working at it. The old book. There's no girl working at a desk. Hmm. Very interesting. In the kitchen. This is another good one. Okay. Old book first. We have all the little piglets like to help their mother in the kitchen. Their mother, mother in the kitchen. They're making good things to eat. What is mother pig putting into the oven? A pie. Okay. There's all the little piglets. All right. How about the new improved politically correct book? All the pigs like to work in the kitchen. They're making good things to eat. What is father pig making? What is mother pig putting into the oven? Father pig is here now? Where's the other big pig? There isn't any. So you just make one of the children into father pig. Well, that's a really weird relationship they have there. He's, he's a little, little man, same size as his children. And uh, mother pig, well, she's, she's kind of a big woman there. <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay. Most other things look to be about the, the same. This thing just cracks me up. This political correctness is just insanity. How about when you grow up? The old uh, book here has a cowboy elephant. Look at that. You could be a cowboy, big giant cowboy. Can't have that. How about a gardener? <laughs> okay. Milkman. Taxi driver. It's a female. Hmm. Policeman. Police officer. Firefighter. Fireman. In the old book there. And again, you, you have, uh, I didn't even show this, but you have cowboy here, and they replace it with gardener and scientist, and a musician as well. So you get three females there. Huh. As opposed to, uh, well, I guess the musician is the same. It's a rabbit, this one, and this one's it's a female raccoon. But uh, replace the cowboy, you have to do a double on that one, a female scientist and a gardener, because that's really offensive. You know, those look to be the same, except for Baker's now a female pig, it looks like, and, and it's not, you know, you can't have a butcher. You know, see, in the old book, it's a butcher. Now you have to have a baker. <laughs> Don't eat meat. Very serious. Okay, here you have a train conductor and a commuter. Photographer, reporter. Huh? How about the judge there? What happened to the judge or what happened here? It's a soldier. It used to be a soldier. Now it's a female judge. Huh. Interesting. We'll go on to the next one. Things we do, new book, but got to put the bow in the hair there, or the back of the head. <laughs> Here's the old one. Can't have them be the same now. Don't see that many other differences. Well, this is this uh, rabbit here has a blue shirt on, and down here now he's got blue with white polka dots. Here you have a bear over here. Now they had to put. Kathy on it and the new one. Here you have a, in the old book, it's a girl sitting there watching television, and now it's a boy sitting there watching television. Rather odd. Then you get into the work machines. Busy, busy, busy bears. Most of the bears are mo busy moving dirt with their machines, but there is one bear who has a machine which does something else to the dirt. Which one is it? What is he doing? Not moving dirt, but he, down there with the roller, he's smoothing the dirt. Okay, he's not moving it. The new book. Um... There is one bear who has a machine which does something else to the dirt. Which bear is it? What is she doing? Put a ribbon in the hair and you have a female. <laughs> because it's sexist to show differences between the sexes, so the way that we show that that's, it's sexist and no longer acceptable is we make the one a female. Yeah. Here you have in the old book a uh, male boy riding a uh, motorcycle. New book, you just throw a purse over the shoulder there and things get corrected and everything's wonderful. Sports car, got a female driving it, a male driving it here in the old book. I don't think there's any other changes on that one. My son and I sat here and just had a great time going through this. He was just pointing, saying, this is ridiculous. Look at that, Dad. <laughs> of course, they got rid of this out west thing here, you know. 
This is not in the new book. The out west thing, uh, you know, characterizing Indians and and the cowboys, of course, and it, that one's got a gun. Oh, we have to get rid of that page. So this this whole page here, neat looking thing here, that's all gone. Yeah, you know, cattle being put into the cow car or the cattle car here to be taken off to be slaughtered. So we can have steak and everything. You have to get rid of that one. That's very offensive. <laughs> so yeah, the baby. Again, just weird stuff here. You have the grandmother. She's got a little sort of a hair bonnet or something on there. And now she's got a camera thing on her head's going. So. Don't see any other real differences there. At least not for now. You know, eventually it'll be just, you know, father and father or something. And grandfather and grandfather or whatever. Uh, at the circus. Trapeze artists up here. Trapeze artists. Oh, one's a female now. Have to have that. So, popcorn. Down here we have the popcorn man. Here we have the popcorn seller in the new book. So we'll go through a few more and then we'll quit here. I find this stuff to be entertaining. Here you have the old book. Beautiful Screaming Lady. Cat in Danger. <laughs> you, again, you can't call you know a, a woman beautiful. That's just that's terrible. You shouldn't do that. You know. And again, we have the uh, firemen in the old book and firefighters in the new one. Silly. I mean, it's you know, I'm, I'm going through a lot of this just to show you. It's it's literally every page. You know, there's no there's no end of this whole thing. Here you have riding in the red caboose. You have this bear here with kind of a purple sweater on, sweatshirt on. Now they put a little lacy collar on it to make it look like a female. You know, it, and again, okay, well, it's, it's just about copyright. It's not a big deal. All right, then change the collar of the, of the uh, signal tower here thing or, or change this or put trees in it or something. Or, there's, a, there's an effeminist agenda here to whoever republished this. If you're going to get this book, I recommend the old one here. Don't even waste money trying to get this new one. new one's pretty ridiculous. Houses, they don't have the houses because I, I guess this is stereotyping people, you know, and of Arabic descent or something, you know, so it's, it's too stereotypical. So you have to, you know, get rid of that. The weather, there's a boy rabbit in the old book, raking. Girl rabbit now raking. Yeah. And of course you have, uh, here in the old book you have a male owl apparently watering the, the yard and here you have put the bow in there. Yeah. Summer. Let's get here to the summertime thing. Clean up time. You had to get rid of clean up time. That's sexist and everything. Um, over here you have uh, fathers cooking on the grill. But here you have in the new book, fathers cooking on the grill and an omelet in her, in her skirt there is pounding them tent steaks in. She's just as good as a man, you see. She's, a, she's tough. Now this one cracks me up. This is the old book. A little girl here holding the pussy willow plant. And what do they do in the new book? Change to a boy. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Reprobate mind anybody? People going a little bit nuts in the head? Fall and winter. I don't know if there's anything there. Yeah. 
Here you have the old book like that. Just there and then up. Oh, they have to put a little girl figure skater in there. It's not as bad as some of them, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, all that we're going to show anyhow. So, um, of the two of them, if you have young children and you want to, you might be like me and you have memories of this book here, don't buy a new version of it, okay? Just absolutely ridiculous, you know, to look at these two. I mean, we reread this thing a couple times to my son, never even picked up on the feminist agenda of changing it from what originally it was. Um, this was actually down at my parents' place uh, down in Pennsylvania, and I didn't think anything of it. We went down to visit a few years ago, and they said, hey, do you want some of your older books from when you were a child? And Yeah, sure. And so we came back, and then I, the one night we were just sitting there looking at this and looking at this and thinking, wait a second here. <laughs> I mean, it's just all throughout it. This thing's just been changed to fit the modern feminist agenda. It's disgusting. And I think, how many more children's books did they do that to? Uh, so you say, what do you do for children if you want to buy some secular books? Well, what we've done, we buy vintage books, books that were printed in the 1960s and things. I mean, there's some, you know, Good Night Moon and things like that that, that are not a, a problem as a Christian to read those to your child. Uh, Oliver has always been very much into having books read to him. Loves, he loves books, has a whole collection of old vintage books. Um, they're getting harder to find. And uh, I think I think I know the reason why they're getting harder to find, because the new ones are being changed. But uh, just going to read one verse of scripture to close this here. Um, uh, where are we at here? First Peter chapter three, uh, verse seven. This is what the Bible teaches about the relationship between a husband and a wife. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife them there being the wife giving honor unto the wife uh, as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered you're supposed to honor your wife and say hey you're work weaker than i am i'm not going to make you do all the hard labor and whatever else i'll do that i'll lift that i'll, I'll do whatever this you know it, it might seem like an innocent thing well we're just trying to make them more equal and whatever else the changes that were made in here are satanic they go against the Bible. The Bible says the wife is the weaker vessel. Oh, well, you just have to give up your beliefs in the Bible. It's an old, outdated. It's not outdated. It's what the Scriptures teach. And I can guarantee you um, there's a lot of labor that I do on our property. Um, a lot of things I do that uh, my wife, she's very strong, but uh, she couldn't do it. And there's no other women out there that could be doing it either. So why go against what God wrote? There's nothing wrong with a old style of doing things. And, uh, well, you're just going to change. I'm not changing. I'm not changing. All you satanic feminists out there, you're going to stand before God, a man, and he's going to judge everything that you've ever done. Well, I'll just do it. You won't do anything. You'll shut your stupid mouth is what you'll do. Well, I'm a strong, empowered woman. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Um... You have no business going and rewriting things and changing history and whatever else to try to suit your satanic agenda. Um, there are men out there that still have red blood in their veins and that will never, ever compromise, no matter what stupid little laws you pass. So go ahead, you know, do your little laws and whatever else and try to make yourself... It's not about equality, it's about superiority because it's witchcraft. It's ancient. Feminism is ancient witchcraft is all, all that it is. I had a study years ago proving that the sin of feminism. And that's all it is. Some of the leading uh, spokeswomen, uh, I won't call them ladies because ladies are proper, you know, women, uh, some of the leading spokeswomen of the feministic movement openly admitted, yeah, this is witchcraft. That's all it is, you know. So would I give in to witches? Would I submit myself to witches? No. Um, men are supposed to be strong, stronger than women. Women are the weaker vessel. Oh, women can, science has proved that women uh, can handle pain better than men. I don't think so. Well, women have childbirthing and whatever else and stuff. Well, childbirthing is painful, but uh, let's talk about some of the accidents that men get into, especially in combat and whatever else. Legs blown off and things, and they still get back to safety and whatever else. I remember there was a logger the one time I heard of it. Tree came down, 
pinned him underneath and to get out of there he cut his own leg off with his pocket knife and crawled to out to got help and got to the hospital and whatever else men are tough at least they should be all right and it's no reflection it's not putting women down not at all if you're a woman you should want to be a lady you should want to be feminine if you don't like that there's something wrong with you mentally and you can't push your beliefs onto me um, because I'll never submit to a woman period my God is a man the Lord of glory a man of war he protects me I'm not one bit worried about a bunch of stinking loudmouth women trying to pass laws and whatever else pass all the stupid laws you want if they violate scripture I will not obey them plain and simple so that's going to be it for this video thank you for watching and stay away from modern, politically correct, updated children's books.